Okay, welcome viewers. Today we are going to talk about a little Arduino project um, that we will call uh, print on something on LCD screen. Okay, so this LCD screen is not likely our uh, regular LCD that we are looking at. So this is sometimes a reprint. So let's there are lots of pins here. So let's see what are the working of these pins at first. So that uh, then it will be more clear that uh, that uh, what we work uh, what type of works we have done here okay uh, so let's uh, first uh, begin with uh, this pin so this is a ground pin so we are already we all know that this is ground pin where the, this is directly ground, uh, connected to the ground uh, with this Arduino board okay and this pin will be connected uh, to the positive uh, voltage positive voltage input like it uh, can be uh, plus 5 plus 10 or something this is uh, the contrast pin this will uh, maintain the contrast of this LCD screen and it will uh, connect it to a potential meter for further uh, uh, for controlling this LCD brightness and contrast uh, uh, this is the regular uh, register select pin this will uh, this will be used to passing data and also to uh, command uh, to pass the command on this uh, LCD screen like uh, you want to turn on the screen you want to turn off the screen so uh, this command will pass from this pin okay and this is a read and write pin this pin will uh, write if you uh, write some data uh, like you want to print some data on this LCD then it will work and if you want to take some input from the screen and this will also work in this pin and the next pin is the enable pin this is uh, likely used uh, the flag for this LCD like this LCD if the LCD is busy that it, it will uh, say that uh, it is zero so uh, other programs can find this is the busy flag or it will mainly uh, like a switch for this LCD like this uh, this LCD is available or not the this is maintaining by this pin okay and this uh, sequence of pin is uh, we can see the db0 to db7 that will for, um, use for the data pass at this the 8 bit data pass so there's eight pins here so there we can pass the 8 bit data from uh, this pin and the last two pin is the anode and cathode it will maintain the backlight of this lcd screen <coughs> So this is a more uh, more like a short description about this LCD. Let's go through a design and make some code and make this LCD live by putting some uh, data or some strings on it. Okay. So let's uh, join the connection first. So we have tell you uh, tell I have tell you that this is the ground. So we have connected to the ground. Uh, okay. At first we need to connect this 5 volt and the ground to the breadboard okay so this is the ground ground is connected in the ground and this is the positive the voltage the BCC that is connected to the source the 5 volt this is the contrast pin this will go to our potentiometer okay likely we are using this part so this will be look nicer all right so the next pin is rs pin so we are need to da uh, data pass from this pin so we are connected to the arduino this is pin number 12 and uh, this is the read write pin it will be always connected to the negative point this is the ground the ground point uh, next pin is the enable pin it will also connected to the arduino board the 11 like uh, uh, for example, we have connected to the 11 and our next uh, pin is the DB0 to DB7 uh, for this uh, simulation we have used the, the, our 4 bit data pass so we will use the 4 pins uh, of it so uh, likely we are using uh, to DB4 to DB7 so let's connect it to it or DNO uh, likely we are going to connect to the 5 pin and it's going to the four going to the three and the last one going to this number two pin. all right so there's more a most likely oh 
here I don't have connect to potential meter so this pin will go to the positive one and let this pin connect to a negative one okay so this is more the uh, more likely our setup that has been completed or designed so let's go to our code and make this thing live this one is the code this one is code this is the code budget code that you will give an automatically okay so let's start our code so uh, if you want to use our lcd screen uh, at first we need to include our lcd library here that will call the crystal liquid crystal library so let's include that include liquid crystal dot h and our functions that uh, the setup function and a loop function Now let's initialize our LCD. Uh, it will it will also initialize it. So that we need to make an instance of our library of liquid. So liquid crystal. So liquid crystal. I hope the spelling is correct. My spelling is correct. Uh, crystal. Yeah. Okay, liquid crystal. And let's uh, making a uh, like we name rename it with LCD now we have to put some uh, put the pins put some pin number that are connected to the Arduino board okay so at first the first pin will be our the RS pin so what we connected with the RS pin mm, we have connected to the RS pin to the 12 number pin in Arduino so it will be 12 and the next pin is uh, the enable pin so this enable pin is connected to uh, yeah it is connected to the 11 so let's put it 11 and our next pins is our the data passing pin so this is uh, there are the four pins we have connected here so they are the default to 7 so we are connected to 5 to 2 okay so we have let's uh, write that 5 4 3 3 and 2 okay so this is the end of our uh, likely the setup uh, setup for the LCD display now let's make this LCD turn on like uh, at first we have to turn co uh, on communication with it so LCD begin and we have to input that how many uh, blocks and how many rows in this uh, LCD display so if we uh, click on that then we can see this is the 16 into 2 so there is a 16 blocks in one row and there are another 16 blocks in another row so there is two rows and there are 16 blocks okay so we have to put this on code like LCD begin the 16 uh, not outside it should be inside so 16 is 2 so then we have to now uh, we have uh, put communication with this LCD screen so that's more likely our setup we need not do nothing for this and now uh, at first we need to uh, let's uh, delay one second and now we need to uh, clear our LCD like uh, if there are uh, any data on it we need to clear that so oh, we need to need not anything in here LCD clear so it will be clear this display and LCD dot print now we are has passing some data on it likely my name Sean Sean Sharia okay now uh, let's wait for another one second uh, that we need to 
to the LCD that is a good delay one second and then we there uh, so I have told you that there are two rows okay so at first uh, the, the first thing that we have uh, printed uh, printed data a string on it so it will be displayed on the first row now, you know, now what uh, what happened that uh, what we want to print this on the next row okay so I want to put the next data will print on the next row so uh, we need to initialize in code so it will be LCD that will call the uh, cursor set cursor and the row is the zero one okay so this this will initialize uh, our the, the second row okay so this one uh, this row will be the one zero and this row is the zero one okay uh, not that okay now we are uh, going to our next row now we are print some data lcd dot print likely i have print my id in here one four two one five one one three and we have hmm, put another delay here like delay for one second and then it will clear the display that lcd dot clear so that's it that's uh, our sample of course so what will happen let's uh, let's talk about it again so at first we have the system will delay for one second then it will be clear the screen that print a line then again delay for one second that set our cursor to the next line and then print another data and then wait for another one second and then clear the display and then it will be do this thing again okay so let's uh, start our simulation that what happened let's start our simulation okay the simulation is start so this is my name and my id and gone my name my id so this is the time counter so you can see that this is so there uh, the first time it will display then wait for one second then display another then again clear then it will start over okay so this is more likely our basic of the LCD display okay so there are a uh, bunch of things that will do a uh, uh, bunch of interesting things that will do with this LCD display so this is uh, more likely our first star so we will talk about LCD later maybe so thanks for watching this video goodbye